Hello and welcome. My name is Adam or Adam Tilted and this is Orbit at a Tilt season two. I'm really excited. I have a lot of fun things planned. Uh, we're going to talk about Venus. This show today is sponsored by AdamTilted.com. If you would like to be a sponsor of the show, just let me know. We can work that out. If you would just like to donate to help offset the cost of the show, this is my PayPal account. Notice it's paypal.me, not paypal.com. If you do paypal.com, it's going to want my email address and all that other stuff. This is a shortcut, paypal.me slash Adam Tilted. Every little bit helps. Uh, it does cost money to produce the show, so I appreciate the help. Let's talk about Venus. Venus is it's the second planet from the sun. Venus is two thirds of the way, um, the distance from us to the sun. It's about two thirds of that distance. So it is closer to the sun. It is about the same size as the Earth. And we've always wondered about Venus because it is, a, it is so close in many ways to Earth, but in some ways it's completely different. Uh, one thing that is obviously different is it has a very thick atmosphere. And the atmosphere is nothing like our atmosphere. Clouds of sulfuric acid. Uh, the atmosphere is so heavy that if you were standing on the surface of Venus, it would feel like you were nine miles underwater. So that's crazy. Very inhospitable place for life as we know it. Venus, let me, let's go back and look at, um, at Venus a little more closely. For a long time, this is all we could see of Venus was this hazy cloud top. We did notice that it spins the opposite direction, which is, that's interesting. It has a retrograde rotation. Those clouds, by the way, what make Venus the third brightest object in the sky after the sun and the moon. The next <laughs> brightest thing is Venus. So it's very easy to see Venus. Venus is up in the mornings now before dawn. So go check that out if you're up. It'll be in the east. Venus does not have any plate tectonics like the Earth does. The Earth has a mantle that is melted. It's molten rock, right? And when that comes up out of the surface out of, as a volcano, we call that lava. Venus doesn't have that. It has a solid mantle. Well, that has a couple of problems. Well, not problems, but differences. For one thing, it doesn't allow heat from the inside of Venus to escape. This heat is built up in there. It also means that Venus does not have an internally generated magnetic field like the Earth does. The Earth's magnetic field is created by that liquid mantle rubbing up against the iron core. That's what generates the magnetic field. Venus doesn't have that. So it's also getting just pounded, pounded, pounded by radiation from the sun. In the early 1990s, the NASA's Magellan spacecraft was able to orbit Venus and use radar to get a look at the surface. This is pretty cool. So we have uh, detailed views of the surface of Venus and it's just a volcanic landscape. I mean, the whole thing is just vol volcanoes, lava plains, and we think that the whole surface of Venus was, has been recovered as recently as 500 million years ago. You know, in solar system time, that's, a, that's pretty recent. We don't know a whole lot about Venus. There have been some landers, but the landscape on Venus, it's just the, 
environment is so harsh. The pressures are incredible. I think it was the Russians were able to land a lander on the surface of Venus and it was able to last for 23 minutes before it was just crushed, smashed. There are some interesting things going on in the atmosphere. There is some suggestion that there could be parts of the atmosphere that are maybe conducive to some sort of life form. I've also thought it would be interesting to consider Venus as a place to colonize, build a floating city in the in that heavy atmosphere, because it has all of the stuff that we need. All, all of the elements there, we could harvest the oxygen. There's oxygen there, we just have to get it. Couple of other cool things about Venus. Venus's day, the time it takes to make one full rotation, that's about 243 Earth days. So it rotates very slowly. The time it takes for it to make one orbit around the sun, that's 225 Earth days. So its day is longer than its year. It takes longer to rotate all the way around than it does to go around the sun. If you think of day and night as like when the sun is up and when the sun is down, that's not, or 225 of those. Um, Because Venus, remember, has a retrograde rotation. So it's still, like, even though it's, passing the sun it's kind of like rotating back to catch it a little bit it would be really weird to see that on venus the sun it would just move so slowly across the sky and just kind of hang there there are about 117 day night cycles during a venusian year (laughs) which takes 225 earth days i mentioned it was the same size as the earth It doesn't have a moon, but it does have phases like the moons because it is closer to the sun than we are. Then from our view, it goes through phases like a crescent and a gibbous, all that similar to the moon. So if you're looking through a telescope or binoculars, you can observe those and those look pretty cool. Otherwise, it just looks like a big fuzzball. That's it for Venus. And if you have any questions come up, think of them later, drop them in the comment. Thank you for watching. Please share this out. I will see you later. Don't forget to look up.